walk me through your relationship with Doug Peterson. What, what, what was the first conversation you had with him? What did he say to you then? Yeah. What do you got? Yeah, we have a great relationship. It goes back from um, really right before he was officially hired. I got a chance just to speak to him. Um, you know, that, that was the direction that we were headed mm -hmm. and, um, you know, just wanted to get on the, you know, get on the same page. I hadn't, I never really met him or talked to him. I think I briefly met him actually at Clemson my freshman year when they had just won the Super Bowl in Philly. Um, but I mean, we didn't really talk at all because I just got there as a freshman. So, um, yeah, I, I started, I talked to him on the phone before he was officially hired and really just had a chance to talk, you know, a little bit of ball, a little bit of personal, a little bit of everything and really got a good feel for, his personality, the way he likes to do things. And I think that started our relationship in a really, really good way. Um, and since then, I think just our communication has been really good and up front. Uh, we talk a good bit, obviously, throughout the week, game planning, all that. And then he's just a, a guy that's really easy to communicate with, especially being a quarterback because he's played the position. Uh, he's been in our shoes. I think that goes a long way. Um, and then just the way he carries himself, the whole team really gets behind him. Um, it's been really, really cool to be a part of. Well, I know the answer to the question, but I'll ask it since you have experienced it on a day to day. I never have. But when you say his message or his attitude vibes well with the team, what what do you got for me there? What do you got for me? What well, you're asking? What are what is his? Yeah, like, I, I know. I, I I know his vibe. He's he's just really chill. Yeah. he's cool. Like the guy. Like that's just one way to just. Yeah. He's really cool. I mean, from the ice cream the day the night before. To the storytelling, yeah. but also just to the just the, the way he talks to people, he's cool. But I'm just wondering how, why, no, why, no why that vibes with you or the team, from your perspective. Yeah, I mean, all those things, like you said, are true. You know, I think that's that's how he comes off, especially initially, and that's just who he is. He's really, and that's one thing I really like about him is he's the same every day, and I think that's really important, especially in a leadership role. And um, you know, that's something that I've tried to tried to do throughout my career even going back to college like that's been one thing that i just tried to be consistent be the same person and, and that's one thing that he does really well uh, whether we have lost five games in a row or won five games in a row he's the same every day so that's something that that i think is huge especially in his position and then but he also knows when to push i think good leaders even if they do have more of a relaxed laid-back personality they know when to push when they need to they know how to get guys going and he he does both of those things really well and i think that's um, something that something that we needed, especially through our season. There's a lot of ups and downs. But I think he he pushed all the right buttons. He knows how to motivate guys. All those things. What do you say to you down twenty seven nothing? What do you say to you? Twenty seven nothing. <laughs> twenty seven. I mean, yeah, when you're down twenty seven nothing against the Chargers, yeah. I'm sitting there at home going, "Oh my God!" What do you say to you at that point in time? Yeah, I mean, it started with that last drive before halftime. I mean, right. he just said, "Hey, we got to get points here," and that's and that's where it started. Just, I mean, that's obviously simple. You know, we went down and scored, and then we got in the locker room. His message was the same thing that really we had been telling ourselves the whole game because we had been in not that bad of a situation, but we had been down 17 twice earlier in the season and, and won those games. So we really – it wasn't necessarily new for us. So we – that's what he said. He's like, hey, we've been here before, guys, and we're going to have to play – we're going to have to play a really good second half, but you got to do it one drive at a time. I mean, there's no – that's what I was telling the guys in the sideline. There's no 27-point plays. Like, we just got to take it one play at a time, one drive at a time, and see where we're at. You know, that's all we can control. And I think that's what guys focused on. That's why we were able to overcome it. Do you think um, – I'll just put, put it to you point blank, Trevor Lawrence. Do you think um, if Doug wasn't there and Urban Meyer still was that you'd be where you are right now? You put me on the spot here. Um, you know, I will say I have a I have respect for Coach Meyer just because he, you know, he showed me a lot of respect. He he brought me here, and I'm really grateful for that. Um, so, saying all that, I, I do think that Coach Peterson has elevated our organization to another level, and including myself. I think you know he's given me a lot of confidence. I really love our offensive system, the guys that he's been able to put around me and guys on defense and all the people that we've been able to bring in. I think he's done a, an awesome job. And I don't know if there's many, many guys that could do what he's done this past year. So I've been really impressed and I think he's, he's killed it. And I'm just looking forward to the future. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to three Eastern for free.